Split. So Split is the new movie by M. Night Shyamalan. For those of you who don't know, there was a time dude was going to be the next Spielberg and something happened. Anyhow, this is the newest movie by M. Night Shyamalan in which it stars James McAvoy as someone who has 23 personalities in his head. He has multiple personality disorder. He kidnaps these girls who then have to deal with the fact that this dude has multiple personality disorders and he's generally speaking a creepy guy. That's just a bit. We have ourselves an M. Night Shyamalan thriller-ish movie. First of all, let's look at James McAvoy right out the gate. I'm gonna say this. This dude is a phenomenal actor and he was great in this movie. For any part that this movie falters, McAvoy's there to pick it back up. The movie starts dipping in parts where he's not, but when McAvoy's on screen, man, this is his film and he is carrying it. There are scenes where he's having conversations with himself in his head in the same shot. Kind of harken back to when Willem Dafoe did it in Spider-Man, the first Raimi Spider-Man where he's talking to himself in the mirror. Just in his performance, you really feel like these are separate people inside this one person. That's actually harder to do than people think, so all the credit to McAvoy and Shyamalan as a director. Also the main girl in here, this girl is phenomenal. She was in The Witch, she was the main girl in The Witch, whose career has climbed since then and we're gonna see her in a lot more stuff. Basically, the main actors in this movie are great. There are some supporting actors who are not, not like those people who are not great in parts are always not great. Great. But in true Shyamalan fashion, it's like the main stars are good. And the supporting characters are like, well, you have, mm -hmm. Unless it's the happening. Just everyone was bad in that. But really, what this movie is, other than a very well-acted film for James McAvoy and the main girl, and a creepy, intense film, it really is Shyamalan returning to form. It's like the dude listened to us all. We were all like, dude, you were somebody back in the early 2000s. You were going places. We love that Shyamalan. Where's he bring him back? Granted, he was going there with the visit, which I did enjoy for that reason. But I feel like when you make two back to back, it's like, oh, okay, you mean like you weren't just messing around. You weren't dipping your toe in the water. You're telling us, okay, well, I get what you want. I'll do that now. No more big budget bullshit, and I think that's fantastic. Not everything worked in this movie. There were these flashbacks to the main girl's past, and I was like, why are they in here? I get why they're in here. I get what point they ended up serving, but it just wasn't organically mixed. Almost like the entire movie was shot, and then Shyamalan was like, I really need flashbacks to her childhood, so I'm gonna film those, and I'm gonna try to find places to interject them. It just didn't really mix, and it sticks out like a sore thumb. Also, the movie's a slow burn. While I'm praising this for being true old-school Shyamalan fashion, it's his old school movies were like that. They were slow burns. Guys, in the end, Split is interesting. It's not for everybody, that is for sure. It's Shyamalan returning to form for like, okay, you like my old school-ish movies. This is more in line with that, not that Airbender shit. McAvoy is fantastic. It's one of those movies where it's like, did this come out in December? It was that like a limited release in December and now it's wide in January, so McAvoy could be up for best actor or supporting actor, whatever he would be. The main girl was great. Some of the supporting characters are eh. Some of the pacing's a little wonky. It's a slow movie, but in the end, I walked out really enjoying myself. I will say Split is definitely a good time. No alcohol required. All right, guys, so Split, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.